Many of the commands in Revit are started from the ribbon or the quick access toolbar. The ribbon is composed of several tabs and on each tab there are groupings of commands based on a specific task or workflow. These groupings are called panels. Within a panel there are various commands. We can simply click on an icon like this to start the ceiling command in this example. Some of these commands are, are what are called split buttons. So there's two distinct parts that we can click on. The top part gets us to the most used command related to walls in this case. If we click the down arrow, we see several related wall commands. The first one in the list is always the same as if we clicked the top part of the split button. There are some buttons that are just a simple drop-down list, not a split button, like this additional settings option on the manage tab. When I click that, it, it reveals additional options. So in this case, we always have to click twice. We'll notice on the annotate tab, for example, some panels have a little arrow in the lower right corner. This is called a dialog box launcher and it reveals a dialog box with various settings related to the panel that we just clicked on it from. In this case, the text panel. So this opened the text style type properties in Revit. The dimension panel has a down arrow next to the dimension word to describe the panel. This down arrow reveals additional commands that are typically not used as often as the main commands that are always showing. Above the ribbon, we have the quick access toolbar. So these are commands that are quickly accessible no matter what the state of the ribbon is. Therefore, we don't have to navigate the ribbon to find a command that we use often. Autodesk has placed several commands for us that are found to be used in a day-to-day -day Revit workflow. However, if we want to add a command to the ribbon, we can right-click on any command. Like, let's say we want the copy command. I right-click on it and select Add to Quick Access Toolbar. Now I have the copy command quickly accessible no matter what tab I'm on on the ribbon. There's a couple other things to be aware of when it comes to the ribbon, and one of those is that a panel can be pulled out and it will stay visible even when that tab is no longer showing that it came from. So this might be helpful if you're working with a lot of duct commands in this particular case and you want them to stay accessible. Once you're done, you can click this little icon in the upper right and it returns that panel to the ribbon. And it will always put it back exactly where it came from. So that might be more useful to know if you do this by accident, accidentally clicking and dragging on a panel and you didn't realize what had happened. All you do is simply click this icon in the upper right and it'll put it back where it came from. Another thing that doesn't normally need to be done but again, some people accidentally do this and need to know how to undo it, is if you double click on one of the tabs on the ribbon, it will change the state of the ribbon. And there's four different states from fully expanded to fully minimized. In this fully minimized state, I have to click on the tab to reveal the commands. And then once I click a command, it goes away. This is useful for laptops or, or small screens, but if you have a large screen on your laptop or desktop computer, you typically want to leave the ribbon maximized.